Hi everybody, I wanted to give an update on what's been going on in my life the past two weeks. Uh, first I want to say sorry for the quality of the video, I'm recording this off my iPod. It is 91 degrees, it looks extremely hot, I've been running around doing errands all morning and I just pulled my hair back and no makeup, um, Just it's just too hot today. So I'm inside with the air conditioner um, cooling off. Two weeks ago today, I went for a mammogram. It had been four and a half years since I had a mammogram. My, my PCP highly encouraged me that I need to have a mammogram. So I went, and about two hours later, I got a phone call. They said I needed to come in on Friday to have a repeat mammogram with more images and an ultrasound. So I went that Friday, and... After the girl did the ultrasound, um, the radio radiologist came after reading the scans and said she sees something, but it's unclear what it is. So in order to get a better um, idea of what's going on, I would have to have a breast MRI. So instantly panic mode sets in because I'm extremely claustrophobic. And a lot of times people say, oh, when you face your fears, it gets easier, but this was my ninth MRI, and they never get any easier for me. I did reach out to a lot of people on Facebook, asking them to pray for me, and I thank you guys, because while I was in the machine, I don't know if I was going to make it through it. Uh, I was panicking, um, and I kept thinking about everybody praying for me, and I just kept breathing through it, and I'm saying, I'm going to make it. And honestly, your prayers helped me tremendously. I know that a lot, a lot of times on Facebook, it's hard to keep up on the stream. So I know a lot of people don't know what's going on. That's why I decided to make this video. The MRI um, was done a week ago, Monday. I was told it would take 24 to 72 hours to get the results, but exactly 24 hours later, I got a call from you know, my primary care doctor saying the radi radiologist called him and has referred me to a surgeon. So this is a general surgeon that also specializes in um, breast. So they got me in last Friday. Um, my husband did come with me. He, thank goodness, was able to get out of work um, because it's really important when you're meeting with the surgeon, no matter what it is that you're dealing with, to have a second pair of ears there with you because when you're going through something, you, you sometimes not, don't hear everything the surgeon's saying or you may not ask questions, so it really helped me have my husband there. The surgeon I feel very confident with. This is the first time I ever met her. When she entered the room, I felt such a positive energy and vibes coming from her. Um, her aura was just so bright, and she just did everything to make me feel really comfortable. She met with my husband and I after she examined me in her office. She brought up the scans, showed us what we're dealing with. She drew pictures and spent a great deal of time explaining everything to me. She did say that this, whatever it is, um, growth um, needs to come out and I need to have a biopsy to figure out you know, whether it's cancer or not. So you can have biopsies done um, either with the f um, in office with a fine needle biopsy or a larger needle biopsy. They'll use an ultrasound to, to find um, the growth. But I'm not a candidate for that. I'm going to have to have mine done through the OR. So I'm going next week for a lumpectomy, and um, they'll send it off to, to be biopsied. So they're going to be having um, what they call a nurse navigator staying with me the whole day. Because when I first go to the, uh, it's, it's a day surgery thing. Um, I'm going to have this nurse go with me to the mammogram unit. They're going to be inserting... I'm not sure if they said one or two wires, but they're going to, I have, while I'm being in the mammogram machine, which women know is not comfortable, a radiologist is going to be inserting, like I said, one or two wires into where this growth is. So um, that doesn't sound too fun, but it is what it is. But um, then I'm going to go back 
to the OR and then have the procedure. They, I will be knocked out, they said, during it. I explained to the doctor, I said, I do have uh, problems with the anxiety and um, you know, she said, even if you didn't have an anxiety disorder, any woman that's facing what you're going through is going to be anxious. And it just eased my mind that she didn't minimize, like, oh my gosh, she's going to be anxious and uh, make light of it. She was very kind. So she said, we'll give you something beforehand, you know, to have you come. And um, so I felt good about that. So I've been having a, an emotional roller coaster ride these last two weeks, guys. I mean, I had a few days where I just sort of like, it was kind of like a denial of all this. And then I got really scared. Um, then I got mad at myself because I waited four and a half years to have a mammogram. Um, did a lot of crying, did tons of reading. I was trying not to get carried away because we still don't know if this is benign or if it's cancer. Uh, all we know is it's something and it has to come out. So reading a lot of information from different um, breast news groups, etc., has helped me just so that um, I'm becoming educated on something that I didn't know a lot about. And just a lot of it has helped ease my mind. I've been reading about, you know, what other women that have gone through lumpectomy, etc., even though the doctor explained it to me, just reading in, or watching videos on what other women went through has been helpful to me. So I know some of you have been wondering where I've been, and that's why I made this video, because um, a lot of you don't follow me on Facebook. And even if you do follow me on Facebook, Facebook is extremely difficult to keep up with the stream. I know that I miss half of what people um, type, and so I thought by making a video it would be easier for more people who know me to see what's going on. So. I've been keeping extremely busy, um, just trying to keep things in order, um, because you know, it's going to be a few days of recuperating. I don't know when I'm going to be able to get back online um, after um, the lumpectomy. I'm going to try to come on Sunday or Saturday. Uh, my husband's going to take me to the ocean, depending on which day is good weather, because he knows I love the ocean and it just always makes me feel good. So I might, I might post just a short little video um, on the weekend. If not. I will post one post this thing. It may take a few days, but I will do status updates on Facebook. Um, so you can, if you do follow me there, you can see it um, on Facebook. Um, when I was in the MRI, like I was saying, the, I felt all the prayers and the positive energy from people. And um, I just ask if, whether you pray or don't pray, um, you know, if you pray, please say a prayer for me. Um, if you don't pray, just you know, send me positive thoughts, get well wishes, or just anything that um, you do. Um, it doesn't matter what you believe in, what your faith is, or what religion. Um, just you know, if you just can send well wishes um, to me, I'd appreciate that. Because uh, this is a scary time, and the doctor said the the hardest part is the waiting. You know, after you know, you know, one thing dealing with the you know recovery, because I'll be having um, you know. I'll be cut and have to have stitches, etc. But um, physically is one thing, but the um, mentally and stuff, just waiting for a biopsy is a very difficult time for anybody that's uh, wondering what their diagnosis is. So I'm going to um, really try my best um, this week to um, just drown myself listening to people like um, Louise Hay, Cheryl Richardson. Sonia Choquette, um, really awesome, strong, um, powerful women. Um, Marion Williamson, you know, these are people from Hay House. Um, I'm just going to be listening to their CDs and um, trying to just, you know, keep myself as strong as I possibly can. So um, I will update as soon as I can. And I do thank all of you who have been here for me these last two weeks. It has truly meant a lot to me. I have made some incredible friends here on YouTube. It is such an awesome community. Um, I belong to so many different communities. And 
Uh, I feel very blessed to have you all in my life. So while I'm recuperating, I will be watching your videos. I don't watch TV. I watch my videos mostly on my iPod or my iPad. I find it difficult to type. So even if I don't make comments on your videos, please know that I'm watching. And it's it's going to help me to recuperate my mind off of waiting for the biopsy. So um, I'll be watching, and I will be back soon. So thanks for listening. Love, light, and blessings.